very interesting to raise the issue of uh, technology because clearly one of the aspects of this debate that we're talking about is the, the difference in approach from old legacy uh, news organisations who tend not to have an engineering ethos baked into the DNA of the company and companies like Google and Facebook who are essentially an engineering company who are attempting to retrofit journalism or at least provide a platform for it. And maybe one of the reasons we have got stuck in a dialogue over the last 10 years is that um, at some point we've been speaking in two different languages. And perhaps Professor Mark Keane, who's been at uh, the centre of a discussion around science and technology in Ireland, not least as a government advisor, can throw some light on that. And he is currently the Chair of Computer Science at UCD. Mark, if you can just speak for three to five minutes. Okay, so very quickly, uh, I'm a funded investigator at Insight, which is a very large data analytics centre, about 300 researchers, uh, 88 million investment from the Irish government over five years. Uh, some of our researchers worked with Storyful in the early days. Um, we have about 30 people working in the media, media analytics space. We have collaborations at present with the RTE, um, uh, the Irish Times and, uh, and the Irish Farmers Journal. And we're doing a number of different things. We're building tools for journalists, but we're also doing a lot of analysis around what's happening in the environment. So what is, is Google actually doing each day when it selects the top three uh, news articles and where does it get them from? And what's actually happening in Twitter, for example? We've done a number of very large crawls, like 80 million tweet crawls, but specifically focused on Ireland and specifically focused on what journalists are doing in Ireland. And the main summary sort of message that comes out of that is, is no news organization, I think, is adequately handling what needs to be done to improve their impact. Uh, it looks really chaotic, is the, is the sort of bottom line. Um, so I was sort of scared this morning, uh, uh, you know, when I woke up, but I'm even more scared now. Uh, having heard the Reuters report, it sounds like, you know, the Irish uh, uh, newspapers are in sort of the, the worst of all possible worlds, right? They have a a population which are using you know, mobile devices in a really big way. They happen to rely not so much on the apps, but on search. Uh, and, and, and by the way, as, as Kevin said, we've lost control of that distribution channel. Now, how long can a business exist if it doesn't control its distribution channel in some sense? Uh, and I think the question that, uh, that we as sort of, if you like, news producers in a small country probably need to be asking is how do you respond to this environment in some way? Uh, and, and I think the answer is probably a combination of, you know, being more like software engineers and thinking of the possible tools that may leverage what you do. For example, one of the areas we're looking at is headlines. Like, there's such a head shift. Like, a, you have to realize that a headline may be the only thing that someone sees of the article that you put out there. Whereas, you know, the traditional thinking is that this is on a page with a context around in a section. It's, it's not there anymore. So suddenly headlines are really, really important. You need to understand them in some way. I think the other thing that, that, that these businesses need to do is to do analytics on the distribution channel. Like they need to understand that channel because we know, you know from, we've dealt with Google and Facebook and people like that for years is that they're changing this on a weekly or monthly basis. So if you don't understand what they're doing to your content, then you're basically gonna be finished too. And I think that just demands a whole bunch of new people in a news organization, and they're not separate. They're not in the IT department. They're in the newsroom, you know, and they're, you know, one aspect of it is it's a retraining, you know. I started life as a PhD in cognitive psychology, right? Everyone started building co computer models. I had to retrain in two or three years, and then I could pretend to be a computer scientist, right? In a sense, you know, there will be a cohort of journalists that will have to do something like that. In fact, some of them have done it already. Um, but, you know, newsrooms will need a mix of those people and need to be continuously innovating at, you know, people talk about inter internet time, you know? Like, I was shocked at, at the stuff about monitoring what's going on. That's just, like, you could have, multiple news organizations could be destroyed by the, the, the time by which you work out how Google is sort of dealing with this. So we need a Taylor Swift moment, right? To sort of, someone, someone needs to put their hand up. <laughs>